Our graduation speaker this morning is Robert Timmons. Robert has been a dynamic student at Dobie High School and in our community. He has been a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes for four years and has been president for two of those years. He's on the Longhorn track team and is a regional qualifier. He's a member of the Computer Science UIL team, the National Honor Society, and is an AP student leader. Robert has demonstrated sincere concern for others through his community service activities. He participated in Seniors Helping Seniors, the Houston Chevron Ramco Marathon, and in peer tutoring. After graduation, Robert plans to continue his education at the University of Pittsburgh, majoring in electrical engineering and mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Timmons. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, life is a journey not a destination. Where we go depends on the road that we have taken and how we allow it to impact our lives. Oftentimes we try rushing to a specific destination rather than embracing the ride. As a child, I remember going on family road trips to visit other family members or to go on a vacation. And just like millions of kids across the world, I would constantly ask the irksome question that torments every parent in the front seat. You all know it, so when I count to three, say it with me. One, two, three. Are we there yet? <laughs> I was in such a rush to get to our vacation, it never dawned on me that the vacation had already begun. While on the ride, I could eat, sleep, listen to music, I could get a treat at every single stop, but most importantly, I could spend uninterrupted time with my family. As I look back on those childhood memories, I realize that some of the best and the funniest moments took place on the expedition to our destination. My high school journey wasn't much different. During freshman year, my friends and I could not wait to be seniors and make it to our graduation. But as I stand before you today and reflect on the sundry of memories I've accumulated over the last four years, I realize that the journey, that's what makes today so special. Think back to every relationship cultivated, every experience, every pep rally, even every test, every homecoming dance, every football game, every district, region, state and national championship one. Think about all that you have learned since freshman year, all that's happened and all that has changed. Reminisce on the good times and even the not so good times and how they have helped us to grow and mature. Each and every experience has shaped us into who we are today and ultimately determined whether or not we would make it to this graduation destination because sadly, everyone did not. But today, today we are gathered to show that we have made it. All the work, all the effort put forth has finally paid off. And while today is the day we have reached our graduation destination, it is also the commencement of a new journey. So I encourage you to continue to press towards the future while still staying present in this moment. Don't worry about messing up, because in reality, we will, but we'll learn from it. Keep dreaming. Keep learning. Keep your head held high and keep moving forward, because there are no mistakes. There's only chances taken. Composer Tim Delotta writes, and I completely agree, I know we'll be just fine when we learn to love the ride. At this time, I would like to show appreciation to all the parents, family members, and friends for serving as directories, crossing guards, stop signs and green lights, and even highway patrol when necessary for my classmates and I. As we have navigated our way through high school, 
Without you, we would not be here today. I'd also like to show honor to our classmates who we unfortunately lost along the way. Gabby Romero and Jose Sepev uh, excuse me. Gabby Romero and Jose Sepulveda. And I'd like to lead our class in thanking the faculty and staff for playing such important roles in our education for the past four years. So, <laughs> so congratulations, J. Frank Doby class of 2011. We have made it. Unbelievable. Great job. Great job, Robert. Robert, you can write my speeches for me if you'd like. I appreciate it. <laughs>